Good morning. I am Dr. Maxwell Barnish from the University of Aberdeen, and I will be speaking about the value of pragmatic and observational studies in healthcare and public health. Evidence based medicine is important for clinical practice and healthcare decision making. However, some key approaches to this, including the GRADE framework, place a lot of emphasis on the classification of the study design. This can come at the expense of a detailed assessment of the methodological strengths and limitations of individual studies. In recent years, authors in the literature have critiqued the limitations of classical randomised control trials. However, they still retain an important place in the hierarchy of evidence, although the value of pragmatic trials to regulators is increasing, although this is still at an early stage. In this review paper, we present some examples of the value of pragmatic trials and observational studies for healthcare and public health. One of the key strengths of pragmatic trials is how the study populations and procedures more closely parallel routine clinical practice. However, there are limitations with regard to internal validity and consistency. Observational studies have in the past often been criticised in terms of evaluating health technologies because of confounding. However, advances in statistical techniques such as propensity score matching may overcome this. Large registry studies, for example, can be used to assess how well a treatment works in routine practice following implementation. And in public health, randomised control trials are often not possible. And real-life experiments and observational studies are what are available to us. Therefore, in conclusion, observational studies and pragmatic studies have an important role to play. And in future, we suggest that trialists and regulators look more closely to achieve a synthesis of studies based on all available techniques rather than focusing solely on the classical trials.